Hello and welcome back. This video is on radiographic sensitivity. So in radiography, we look at three different parameters. One is sensitivity. The second one is geometrical unsharpness. And the third parameter is density. So in order for a radiograph to be acceptable, it has to meet all the three requirements. So now I will talk about radiographic sensitivity. So radiographic sensitivity means that the radiograph was taken so that it's sensitive enough to detect the discontinuity of interest, the size of the discontinuity. So we don't want to do radiography and, and do it in such a way that we are missing small defects. On the other hand, we don't want to do it so sensitive that we start seeing stuff which we don't want to see. So the radiographic sensitivity is actually controlled by the code, uh, one of them being the ASME section 5. And it actually tells us what is the sensitivity requirement to be met for a acceptable radiograph. So that's the topic of discussion. And in order to, uh, here we go, this is the title of the presentation today, radiographic sensitivity and IQI means image quality indicator selection and placement to do the radiographic testing. So there's two kinds of IQIs to verify or to validate the sensitivity. And one of them is the wire type. And the second one is the hole type. The wire type is like these needles here. And the code will specify these needles are six needles and they are of different diameters and the code will actually specify which needle we have to see in the radiographic film so this one in this case it's needle number iqi number six seven eight nine ten eleven so the option is either to use the wire type or to use the hole type which is here and it has three holes. You can see the small hole is here, which is called 1T. 1T means that the diameter of the hole is the same as the thickness of this IQI. 2T means the diameter of the hole is twice the thickness of this IQI. And 4T is four times. And this IQI hole type number is 20, 20 number. So we have uh, the, the IQI, the wire types, there are four sets of wire type IQIs. Set A, which is wires number 1 to 6. Set B, which is wire number 6 to 11. So here you can see that set A and set B, they overlap wire number 6. And then set C and set D. So what set is this? This is set B. So set B has wires 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is going to be 6 is the thinnest wire, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So for IQIs, for the wire set, there's only four sets. So all you have to do is carry four sets of wires, A, B, C, D. But the disadvantage of the hole type is that there is a bunch of these hole type penetrometers. So this one is number 20. And you can see there is a 20 and then there is a number 17. And so there's many, many of them you have, the radiographic technician has to carry. So personally, I would prefer the wire type IQI. Now, how is the wire type IQI placed? The wire, wire type IQI should be placed in such a way that it actually goes across the weld. So it's placed like this across the weld and the whole type IQI is actually placed on the side of the weld. So if, the, if we use the hole type, then it's going to be right here on the side of the weld. So hole type will be here and wire type will be on top of the weld. So just remember, we have to use either one, one or the other, not both of them. So whatever you decide, hole type or the wire type, then we go with that. And then the Placement of the IQI depends. So we went through that module on geometrical unsharpness. And as you know, in, 
in geometrical unsharpness where would be where would be the worst case scenario for the geometrical unsharpness whether the defect is here or is it there well the answer is it's going to be the further away you are from the film the worse the image will get you know the blurriness or the ug will increase at this point the ug will be zero and as you go away from the film towards the source the ug will start increasing and the image will start getting more and more blurry so for that reason the iqi is placed on the source side so this is the test piece we call this as the source side which is it's towards the source a and this is called the film side because it's touching the film c so we place the iqi let's say b at the source side and it's right here so for this configuration of the weld now this is actually a pipe and in this case the source side is not available which will be right here because it's inside the pipe so we have no access to inside the pipe so in this case the iqi is placed on the film side but when we do that when then we have to put a lead letter f to get it printed on the film that the iqi was placed on the film side and we are taking an exception we did not put it on the source side here is also a pipe like i said pipe has no access to the id so the iqi is again placed on the film side here also is panoramic shot iqi is placed on the film side this is actually a uh, the uh, superimposed shot double wall exposure double wall viewing and in this case the iqi is placed on the source side and the reason is because we are viewing both the thicknesses both the thicknesses so we don't put it on the film side we put it on the source side the reason is that the source side is accessible here we were putting on the film side is because the source side is inside the pipe and it's not accessible so remember if the source side is accessible then you have to put it on the source side here you put it here and in this case which is double wall exposure double wall viewing elliptical shot then the iqi goes on the source side which will be right here take an example now let's let's say say we are doing uh 15 mm this weld here which is 15 mm thickness so you go to the asme table 276 which is right here and 276 will tell you what iqi to use so 15 millimeter will be here which is from 0.5 to 0.75 or 12.7 to 19 so that's in the range 15 is in the range of 12.7 to 19 so what iqi would we use if we use the wire it will be wire number 8 and if we use the hole type it will be number 20 so wire number eight what set would that be remember set a was one to six and set b was six to eleven so this will be set number b so now let's go to set number b and uh, here is my set number b and in this set we have six wires starting from the thinnest wire which is six seven eight so we have to see the wire number eight so when we see wire number eight we, in the radiograph we have to validate that we see wire number eight so how do we verify that on the radiographic film as you can see wire number eight is here and then we have wire number 10 11 12 sorry 6 7 8 9 10 11 so number 11 so when we see wire number 8 which is this one we will also see 8 9 10 and 11 so what it means because the reason is because these wires are actually thicker than wire number 8 9 is thicker than 8 10 is thicker than 8 so in order to see in order to verify that we have seen wire number 8 how many wires would we see on the radiograph we will see all of these four wires because they are thicker so when we when we look for the wire number eight we don't say wire number eight we actually say we have four wires 
So if we can see four wires in set B, that automatically means that we have seen wire number eight. If we see five wires, that's even better. That means you're seeing wire number seven in addition to wire number eight, which was the minimum requirement. Now this wire number here, uh, I forgot to say one thing, it's called the essential wire, essential wire. So essential wire for this thickness is wire number eight. And the hole type penetrometer will be number 20. So now let's do a little demo. And this is the film right here. If I'm doing the, if I'm going to use the wire IQI, I will take this one and put it right here across the weld. See across the weld right here. And the source is going to be here. We'll calculate the UG to compute. We'll calculate the source to the object distance to meet the UG requirement. We have made, met the IQI requirement, which is wire number eight. And the film is here and we'll take a shot with the source sitting right here. Now, in, in, uh, in, if we suppose we don't use the wire type IQI and we want to use the hole type, then we will actually take that hole type, which is going to be the IQI number 20, and we will place it on the side, and then we'll take the shot here. Now, the, the shot is done, the weld has been inspected. This next step is to check the density of the film, and the density has to be two to four. What is density? Density is the darkness of the film. Density one means it's it's like white color. And if it's totally pitch black, it's density five. So we want the density of the film to be kind of gray level, which is two to four. And then in that film, we have to see the hole number 2T. So hole 2T would be this hole. So definitely we'll see 4T, but we have to see 2T to accept the radiograph or if you are using the wire, then we have to see four wires. That will be 11, 10, 9, and 8. Now, there's always an argument that uh, how clear the wire is. So that clarity is defined in ISO 17636-1, and it says that the, you should be able to see 10 millimeters of the essential wire on the parent metal. So if we, when the wire image comes in, then on the, let's say the, I'll draw it here. So let's say this is the image here now, and the weld is here, and we have the wires here. So we should be able to see 10 millimeters of the wire, on the, of the essential wire, which is from here to there, on the parent metal for it to be acceptable as per ISO. So that's how we make sure that we can see the essential wire on the film. And uh, for the pipe, the only difference is that we go back to the table. So if it was a 15 millimeter pipe, remember for the pipe, we still use the single wall thickness to figure out the IQI. So we don't, even though the radiation is going to twice the thickness, we still use only the single wall thickness for the ASME to figure out the essential wire. So if it's going to be on the film side, then the wire number will become seven. So seven is actually thinner than eight, which means that now if we put the IQI on the film side, we are required to see one additional wire. So instead of four wires, we would, we would have to see five wires, which is wire number seven. So you can see the difference between the source side and the film side, the difference is actually, you have you go one size smaller for the film side. And again, instead of the whole penetrometer from 20 will become 17. So that's when you're doing pipe inspection and you put the IQI on the film side and uh, for acceptance as per ASME section five. So this is what it is, it's like a brief introduction and uh, you can i'll just go through it one more time for the pipe for in case of the pipe make sure that if you're doing this contact shot the iqi will be here if you're doing this offset shot iqi here and in this case panoramic the film is outside and the iqi will be also outside which is a film side for double wall exposure double wall viewing 
the IQI will be the source side because the source side is available to put the IQI and uh, I guess that kind of covers the IQI selection and the IQI placement. Now I have to caution, the, caution you here that what we covered was as per ASME section 5. It's slightly different if you, you if you are doing the inspection as per ISO 1763 then the IQI selection is not the same as the ASME and there are different tables and they have different wire sets so ISO ASME goes by six wire sets and the ISO wires actually ISO set has seven wires so remember they are not the same if somebody is using doing ISO inspection then they have to use the ISO tables to select the essential wire. Thank you and have a good luck in your career.